Yo. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Hey. 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 Colin Kaepernick. You ever heard oh. that? You ever heard that before? <laughs> Yo, when he was actually playing football and he had the low cut before he grew out the fro, everybody you was like, Yo, that. you related to you related to Cap? And one time he was in the club in the A, and they was like, Oh yeah, you a Cap, ain't you? Come on over here. I was like, Yeah, you no, dad but... look like that nigga. <laughs> What's good cracking though? up, bro? I'm cool and I can't complain. Man, Enjoying this good old LA weather. Oh man, you on the West West. Yes. Hey man, beautiful, beautiful man. But you see what I'm repping now all day, oh, every hey, day, even on. on Sunday. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, uh huh. You, you know we represent for the NY. Yes, sir. <laughs> every day, all day, man. So um, let's get let's get right into it, dog, man. This movie, a hips record, is crazy, bro. I oh, appreciate that, my G. Yo, what's funny is right. So like a couple of weeks ago, when we did, we did, you know, we um, we did the the premiere for it on the radio. Yeah. Right. And they sent me all your drops and I had to chop up all your drops. Right. <laughs> so, so it's funny because I was chopping up the drops and you was like, I ain't saying that. I ain't saying that. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that don't sound like my dog wanted to say that either. I would have said it. Either. Yeah. Yeah. They be wilding out sometimes. <laughs> yeah. all good, though. But yeah, definitely, man. So, um, Floor Seats 2 is out now. You know yes. what I mean? Floor Seats 2 is out right now. Uh, what made you what made you know that it was time for you to go ahead and drop the second part to Floor Seats 2? I wasn't even planning on dropping the second part to Floor Seats 2. Every uh, time I drop a project, I just think that it's going to be that, and then that's that expression, and I move on. Mm -hmm. But with Floor Seats 2, um, I was working on music, and sports have been super um, instrumental in my process. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get inspired by all of the players that hit me up. I got a lot of ball players as friends. You know, shout out to Victor Cruz, shout out to Jalen Brown, shout out to, you know, uh, JaVel McGee, shout out to my boy uh, Dame Lillard, you know, um, Shaq, you know, uh -huh. all these different guys, Ben Simmons, all these different guys is, is super, um, I'm cool with. And I I think I'm cool with them because when whenever they, they have a, a good game or a bad game, they, they call and we speak about it. And it's all about the fight, the fight right. to the finish. Who's the best athlete? And as an artist, I feel like an athlete. I feel like as all artists, we are we rappers and singers and stuff like that, but we're really athletes. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody's an athlete, whether you're at work, whether you're a DJ, whether you're a nurse, a doctor. It's, it's all competition. Yeah, you're an athlete because it's mm -hmm. competition for sure. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you're always the best winning. man may win. And you you are and you always training to get better. You know what I mean? Like if you on the court, you may not be a good free throw shooter, but you're gonna sit in the gym and you're gonna practice some free throws till you get better. It's just the same right. like a rapper. You're gonna sit in the studio and you're gonna write, you know what I mean? The radio, you're gonna sit, you're gonna practice, you're gonna DJ, you practice, put them hours in. So you're absolutely right. It's just it's definitely like a competition. So on this exactly. on this on this floor season two, you got a chance to collab with speaking of athletes, the homie Dennis Rodman. How did you link up? What was that conversation like? Um, Dennis Robin is super quiet. He's a man of, of less words. Mm -hmm. Um, it, I asked him a rack of questions. I asked him mainly about his clothes and like where, like old, old staple pieces and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Because he had a, like a lot of these clothing lines was giving him free clothes back then. Mm -hmm. And um, we spoke about uh, we just we just um. We spoke about a lot of different stuff. I can't even pinpoint everything we spoke about. But okay. we hung out for two days straight. His wife, Misty, is cool. Yeah. And, um, I just congratulated him. I congratulated him on keeping his brand alive and everything he was doing because, you know, sometimes our legends, they don't know how to sustain the presence in the game. Mm -hmm. And he did it all by being himself. You know what I'm saying? And that's something I can relate to is, like, solely being myself being uh 
a chameleon, being someone who who's also a unicorn, like somebody that the world has never seen before. And, mm -hmm. You know, I definitely feel like he's like that. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. I definitely feel like uh, he's, a, he's definitely a trendsetter. You know what I mean? He don't follow nobody else's rules. He, fo he follows yeah. He set the trend, and that's, yeah. where, that's where it goes. And I feel like you the, the same way. Trailblazing, you know I mean? exactly. That's why, that's why I resignated. You know, he, it's funny because I was bugging out and shit. Like, you know, if you watch the Dennis Robin video, I had got, like, this cosmetic stuff mm -hmm. put all on my face to make me look like a, a bull. The Some bull people say I look like a devil. Well, I'm not playing the devil. It's supposed to be the bull. The bull. The bull. Because right. Dennis Robin played for the Bulls, right. so um, when I had that shit on, he didn't he didn't know I was gonna do that. So I pulled up on him. He was like, "Oh, this motherfucker crazy," <laughs> and I'm like, "Look, you saying I'm crazy, and I think you crazy." <laughs> <laughs> That's dope. That's dope. Um, speaking of other people that you got to collab with on the project, you definitely got my girl Big Lotto on there. Salute the Lotto. Lotto she's going, crazy. She's going, oh she's going my god. Up. She's super fire. Super fire. And you also got to uh, collab with somebody I used to listen to back in high school, uh, Marilyn Manson. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yo, yeah. I, used to be on, I used to be on the Manson way back in the day, too. Come on, you know exactly, I mean? so, man. So, that, so like, how did that, that come about? Um, well, Lotto, she came about because we're, we're label mates, but we didn't meet each other that way. And I actually never met her in person um, yet, you know, so I hope that happens soon. Oh, yeah. But, come uh, to the A. We're going to make it happen. <laughs> yeah, I think she's out here in LA. But okay. um, I I was working with uh, the producer Bankroll, and I was asking him like, what what female, well, what woman I could get on this. Uh, I say what what female, and I changed it to woman because female is a species. That's what I learned. That's what this girl told me. So okay. I referred to the woman as, as woman. woman, right? Exactly. It could be female lizards. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um. Uh, what I said, uh, yeah, Bank Bro linked me, and I wanted like you know a, a girl with a dope voice and a, and lyrically sick to get on it. And he said he was working on her album, so he reached out to her and got on the song. Mm -hmm. Dope. And uh, Marilyn Manson happened because you know I'm a super fan, of course. Um, mm -hmm. I went to his DM because I had a song called Marilyn Manson I've been sitting on for about a year. Mm -hmm. uh, Cino, Cino produced New Level and I actually went to his Instagram and he was following me and I'm like oh shit Marilyn Manson is following me the icon, the legend I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, of course follow him back jumped uh -huh. in his DM he sent me his number and you know when I came out to LA we got it cracking and crazy and shout out to Cino, I know you from the A man, hey man, honorable Cino that is my guy when I tell you, Cino is my guy, man. New level was crazy. I remember, I remember like last year and the year before that. Just every time you turn on a basketball game, every time they go into commercial, every time they in the timeout, all you hear is, "I'm on a new level. I'm yeah. on a new level." I told yeah, Cino, he got he got to let me hold some money because I know he got some good checks crazy. off of that. <laughs> and you know what's interesting about that song was like when I did that album, Always Strive and Prosper. I didn't have no turnups on that joint, and I was a little worried because. Like, that was probably one of my most personal projects where I dove into family and, and more introspective songs and things and, and got really experimental with just the sonic and try new things. And I was like, damn, I don't got no turn up. Like, they ain't going to have no turn up for it. The people probably going to be mad. <laughs> I'm like, they just going to have to deal with it. But then Cino had texted my manager uh -huh. at the time, and he sent five beats. The last beat was New Level. And I was on tour, and I just started rocking to that shit, and that was mm -hmm. the turn up record that I needed. That was missing off the album. So shout out to Cino for saving me with the turn. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, Cino, Cino gonna bring them drums, man. Big shout out to Cino. Um, right. So you know, speaking of um, Cino and just fashion, you know what I mean. A lot of people don't know that you got your start. You know what I mean with your own clothing line, with your own brand. Like, what was it like transitioning from fashion yeah. into music? Yo, I'm so glad that you're not a generic ass interviewer <laughs> that works at a radio station because I'm sick and tired of all of these generic ass questions. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. when I first heard you bump into the Move Your Hips, I'm glad you was bumping to it. But I'm uh -huh. like, damn, that's a song that everybody know. Like, that's a song that, and he mm -hmm. might not even, he's not even going to know about the, the, you know, the B-side songs or the, 
But you you know you did your due diligence and you did your homework. You listened look, I, look before you came on the live, I was playing all of that. I was playing everything else. Okay, before okay. You came on. You just happened to come on while I move your hips was playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I love moving your hips, but it's just like I be wanting people to dive into the project and listen to you know all the other mm -hmm. records because there's so many dope joints on there. Mm hmm. But uh, what got me into fashion? Um. My father was actually into fashion. My father did did the Bad Boy logo. Bad for Boy Disney. logo, right. So also a graphic designer. He did the Cats logo for Andre Harrell, rest in peace. Mm -hmm. And uh, worked with Heavy D and Teddy Riley and all of these great people. Mm -hmm. And had his own boutique store, Ferg Apparel in Harlem. He had um, Heggie's, which is a restaurant, and a laundromat, mm -hmm. and like a bunch of silk screen and spots. So he was an entrepreneur that I grew up watching. And I would have to, I would see him go to the Indian guys to get the t-shirts and then see him link up with the Africans to do the embroidery and then see him link up with the Jewish people to, you know, get the silk screen and paint and the silk screen. So mm -hmm. like, I grew up in it. I grew up seeing him do art. He went to school, high school of art and design. I also went to art and design. We had the same teacher, Miss Delbridge. Shout out to Miss Delbridge. Okay, it's dope. Um, she was my she was my fashion teacher, and she she like I was taking up sewing classes and all of that, and I was doing fashion and fine arts, and um, yeah, that's my history when it comes down to art and fashion. So I'm I'm not just like this, you know, dude that like to get fresh and dress and be up on the latest brands, but I'm really I'm I'm into it. Like I'm into like you know, what actually makes the clothing, like the structure and the the um the architect the architectural ingredients that it takes to build the product. Mm -hmm. That's dope. So you know we're gonna we're gonna see you on Fashion Week really, really soon. Um yeah. you know I don't want I don't want to hold you up too long. I know Sharita gonna text me and be like, we gotta go, we gotta go. You know what yeah. I mean? But I definitely wanna uh appreciate you for um taking the time out, bro. So Floor Seats 2 is out now. Of course, we yeah. know about the Move Your Hips record. You know what I mean? What's a personal record on the radio for you that you definitely want the people to take their time and really, really listen to? Well, on a project, Floor Seats, I mm -hmm. would say Floor Seats 2, I would want people to listen to Hectic because Hectic is where I'm going. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Sonically, I just want something different. Like, I don't care to, like, make songs with, like, you know, the hottest producers at the time or, you know, what's quote unquote like fire to everybody because everybody's doing it. Like I wanna break the mold. I wanna reshape the mold. I wanna I wanna be innovative. So sonically I feel like, you know, that was the expression on there that was super fire. And you could look you could look you could look for more and more of, of songs like that coming from me and then made it made it a classic by throwing puff on there and changing his name from p diddy to puff daddy back to right. Puff daddy because i had him talking like he was on victory or <laughs> hate me now all through the song and then I'm, you know i'm getting into production as, as well like i'm producing so okay. i've always been like a i've always had like a dope ear because i know how to you know pick my own beats you know i've, I've never had an a r my whole career Wow! I put my own beats and put all my my own albums together. Wow! You know what I'm like my team handles the business, and I ask my friends, mm -hmm. you know, if they rocking with it, if they digging, if they digging it. But at mm -hmm. the same time, I, I I don't have I don't pay an A&R to do my my shit. Mm -hmm. So um, now I'm diving into producing. So I produce um, a bit on Hectic, the second part of Hectic, and the first part. Shout out to T Gut, my DJ. He did the the first part. So. Um, look forward to more of that from me. Executive producing other people albums and projects for movies and things like that. I got a lot of things in store, man. Oh man, that's super dope. That's super dope. Well, Ferg, man, Floor Seats Two is out right now. Make sure y'all stream it. Make sure y'all go ahead and copy it wherever you get your. Music also, from. I'm launching a, a a record label as well, and I have an artist by the name of Anthony Panther. She's amazing. And, okay. Uh, Dope. She's on a song called Mask with me. Hit Boy did the beat. She's going off. The name oh, of my dope. label is Sewer Sounds. I repeat, Sewer Sounds. Lock it in your ears, Sewer Sounds, because you're going to be hearing it and seeing more of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. right, Monster, you know, what up? You know, you know, you know we're going to support. We're going to push that all the way up, man. Sewer Sounds, the homie. 
ASAP Ferg, y'all. Floor C2 is out right now. The video for Move Your Hips is out right now. Make sure y'all check that out as well. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Floor seats. I, I know next season, I know next season, when, when the garden open back up, I'm going to see you represent for them, for them next oh, that's floor a, seats. That's, that's a Fendi fact. That's a Fendi and a Fendi <laughs> fact. And I'm going to be at ATL. I know y'all open over there, so I'm about to pull up. Hit oh, the pull up, pull up. Open, you know open. what I'm saying? We open, open. We open, open. Right. Trust me. Exactly. Weekend, Monday through Sunday, we open. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, man, ASAP, man, I definitely appreciate you checking in, Ferg, man. It's all love. Sweet, all the way. You know what I mean? what up. I'm saying what's up to some of my homies I see. Oh, show them some love. Up. Show them some love. Where they at? Raja, what up? Yeah. And shout out to all of the fans that went out and supported the project. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shout really. out to all of the fans that's tuned in. Yeah. Shout out to the, the fans that is just, you know, fans and fam. I consider y'all fam more than fans. So. Definitely. Definitely, bro. Well, I, I ain't going to keep you much longer, bro. I know you got a million of these interviews to do, but I definitely want to uh, shout you out. Appreciate you for checking in. When you come to the A, you got to pull up. You got to go up and turn up, man. Black Bottle Boy <laughs> way. You feel me? <laughs> Easy call, my G. You already know. Hey, for, appreciate you, bro. You already know. Hey, man, that was the homie ASAP Fur checking in, man. Make sure y'all support my bro ASAP, man. Floor Seats 2 is out right now. Your boy Radio God Stu checking in. Make sure y'all follow me as well, at Radio God Stu. Right there, boom, it's pinned. Make sure y'all do that, man. Follow the radio station, 9179HCL as well. We going all the way up. Y'all know what it is, man. Keep it locked. 9179.